Someone's full of affection this morning. <laughs> Good morning, Mason. You're such a sweetheart. Hi. Are you petting me? Are you petting the woman? <laughs> so if I don't shave, his hair gets all stuck in my whiskers. Even if I do shave, his hair gets stuck on my face. But I love him just the same. What do you want? You want to just snuggle? It's not even cold out. This is usually a winter behavior. But then again, he was making a lot of noise at 3 in the morning, so I shut the door and locked them all out. And now he's sorry. He's like, so sorry. And I got Coda. Coda's hanging out at my feet. And Sadie's hanging out on her bed. That's the bed that we found in the neighbor's garbage. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's like brand new. It's like brand new, so we, we couldn't resist. It was a uh, cleanup week, and people were putting out things that you usually don't put out on the curb. So that was a little curbside shopping, and Sadie's very happy for it. Aren't you, Sadie? Huh? Yes? <laughs> you guys are all putting on the cuteness factor today, aren't you? Yeah? You like your bed? We washed it up. I, I, yes. Yes. Who's a good puppy? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are just so cute this morning. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Hmm? I am so excited. I got mail. We got mail for Frosty Life. I'm very, very excited about this. <laughs> Thank you guys, I haven't opened them yet, but I'm gonna do that when I get home. Look at what was at the post office today. We got mail, and this is the first time. So I finally went to the office and picked up the mail. And I wasn't expecting mail until this week, so I'm embarrassed because some of our mail uh, has been in the box for uh, a couple months. And so I feel really bad because I didn't know. Well, the post office is supposed to give me a notification when I get packages, and I didn't get any notification. Did you talk to the post office about the No, it was, you? it was the end of the day, but, oh. and I didn't, I had to get going to somewhere else, but I got to ask the post office about this, why I got packages and I didn't get notifications. But, so, we get to open up a couple of packages. One is a munch pack. This is the one I was expecting. And we're going to show you this weekend. A company wants us to try this. And uh, we're going to do that when some of our girls are in town. And then I got a letter. I got a letter. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I got a box. So let's open it up. All right. From Sherry. This box is from Sherry. From Sherry. And uh, this is the one that I didn't know it came. Um, <laughs> We get to open our first package. Yeah. This is our, well, technically it's not our very first. We've gotten a few other things in the Ooh, past. Ooh, I like the tape. Okay, so what scared me is this said we re keep refrigerated. And I thought, oh, this has been in the in that box for two months, and it's going to be not refrigerated. But then I realized that's just what the box says. It's not a so bomb. So what is, is this? What is it? I'm so excited to see it. <laughs> Oh, it's an owl. An owl. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And if you guys don't know, Karen loves owls because of the saw wet owl that flew into our window oh, and we saved them. Frosty. Hey, that's one of these I cards. Love those. Right? I put those up on my thing. We oh, get those at thrift them. stores and things. Cool. Not thrift stores, antique stores. Okay. And it says snow on the back. That's so cool. Oh, look at it. This is so beautiful. Cute. Sherry, thank, thank you. Thank you. I really like this. <clears throat> this so is cute. really cool. Oh, he is beautiful. Oh. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. I'm very moved. Yeah. That's very thoughtful of you. Oh. You haven't munched in the owl lately. Hope it's still around. So here's a house owl just for the Frost family. Yes. Keep being wise. Thanks, <laughs> Sherry. That is very, very nice of you. Yeah, and we haven't mentioned the saw at all, 
because they they hide and they come on at night. And there was one time at night I thought I saw them fly by. So cute. They're bigger than a normal bird, but they're small for an owl. Cute. And I'm hoping he lives around. But if you look up saw wet owl, you'll find that they are very rare to see. And I think once he got healthy, he went back into his habitat living. But the fact that he flew into our window means that he lives nearby. Yeah. But now we have our own owl That's to awesome. keep in the house. Yeah. That is so cool. That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I will no. put it right. Oh, that's a perfect place for it. Frosty cute. life. See that, you guys? That is so cute. And the cats. Let's see what the cats think about the owl. Oh, look at Mason's. Mason's very curious about this. What is this? <laughs> Did you get a pre He's going to claim it to be his. Cute. <laughs> look at that, Cherry. Mason loves it. Absolutely loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. You gonna share the owl with the cat? Here, look at the owl. He's an owl friend. Mason approves. Yeah. So cute. And, and there's Coda. You guys see, say you never see him, but um, he's now out. he's out and about more than he used to be. And that's because Amanda's moving out in the, the bedroom. Is not occupied anymore. I got a letter. And this is from Jay Clay. And so I'm going to have to wear my glasses. We won't show you his address. Oh, I'm excited. What is this? He has nice handwriting. Hello, Frosty Life. Love your videos and the compassionate care you give your cats. There they are. Show them the cats. They're, they're, <laughs> they're sitting here listening. <laughs> um, your experience with Coho, and that's Coho down there, um, and, and he is our youngest, remarkably close to the uh, rescue of our tabby named Jeremy. It's a tabby bangle. And that happened last June of uh, 2017 in Kansas City. I composed an article on that event and wished to share the copy. That season was very providential for tabby Bengal kittens. Jeremy is a beautiful one-year-old. And that's his cat mm -hmm. named Jeremy. Thanks again for the cat videos. C-A-V-U, which means clear above and uh, view unlimited. That's oh. an aviation term. Oh, funny. Well, then I think I know who this is based on my the comments. Hope it was okay to mail to your business mail address. Of course. Of course, I love it. Um, help. Shipping dot orphan. So this is the oh, article cool. that he wrote. He must have found the cat. So what I'm going to do is post this so you guys can read it. And cool. I'll have screenshots, and I'll put it up on this video here next. Oh, look at that. That's Jeremy. Cute. And yeah, that, I can see why he says that looks like look our coho. He's so cute. <laughs> there he is. Aww. He looks like a very charming kitty. Cute. And it's a new life. And he was hanging out in the shipping docks, which is cool. a lot like what happened with coho. Coho was at a gas station crawling in in her own cars. Had no fear of anything. Now the owl from Sherry sits proudly up. Look at that. It actually matches the other decor that you have. Uh -huh. <laughs> it does. He sits proudly on our mantle. Well, Coho, a story about a kitten just like you. And let's see how much they look alike. Oh, you see a kitten? Hmm? <laughs> the kitties are ready for story time. <laughs> this is a neat story. Thank you very much. The kitties are ready for story time. What's the story you're going to tell them? I'm reading The Shipping Dock Orphan. The story of a lost baby Bengal kitten. Just like our 
Coco over there. Yeah. And they were founded within a week of each other. Wow, that's cool, cool. Um, this was the end of June yeah, last year, and we found him the first week of July. Very cute. So, very similar. So, like the cats are very similar <laughs> in, uh, Maybe in how they acclimated to the... Maybe they're brothers. <laughs> Did you like the story, go? What's neat is this happened in Kansas City, and I fly to Kansas City every so often, like several times a year. So that's one of the places I fly into. Actually, the south yeah. part of Kansas City. Yeah. So there it is. Sent from to us from a viewer. That was nice. That was very nice. I love, I love the part where it says. Now in quiet time in the morning, coupled with prayer and reading, the noise of paws scampering about, shuffling of toys, I look up, and there, growing and in health, sheen on his coat. It's, it's, it, you know, a cat makes a house a home. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just got up and farted. That wasn't very nice. Mason's more interested in all the mail that we got than he is in the food that's upstairs. That's kind of amazing. I got a story of a cat that's just like you. It's found in the same week. Look, Mason. I got a tip on my scale about account. And uh, I am humbly amazed. In, in addition to the mail we received yesterday, um, then I got a tip from someone saying that they, they, it was anonymous. And they said that they just wanted to thank me for the helpful videos and for the, the family time that I spend, that I show with the pets and the family here on YouTube. And I am humbly, just humbly amazed at the outreach people give us just, just because they are thankful for what we give. And I guess when I started making videos, I just wanted I, I wanted to do my hobby and, and upload videos that and create videos and I had no idea that I'm affecting people so in such a positive way and uh, you guys are giving back I mean with every word every comment and every word of encouragement you guys are, are creating this two-way communication that is just fosters um, the desire for me to do a lot more and and my job makes it really hard to do that actually my four jobs because I fly for three different companies but um, I, I absolutely love creating these videos and I love my pets and they love us they love me they love you well, they don't know about you guys because they don't understand the internet and uh, the interwebs and all that stuff but they're lovable just the same Imagine if Mason knew how many people admired him. <laughs> if, he, if he had a way of understanding this, maybe he wouldn't care. Maybe he just cares about me because he's kind of a one-person cat. Um, and Coda, he's an all-person cat. He loves to visit visitors the most, although he's hanging out at my feet. And, and Sadie likes visitors too because they always give her treats and play. Cat mustache. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that was random. Thank you guys for all the encouragement. And it's like an outpouring. All of a sudden I checked the mail finally because it's a new thing for me to have a business mail. And uh, I finally got to the office yesterday and, and looked and, and found out that I had mail waiting for me at the post office in a box. In the box where they lock it in. with It was like a scavenger hunt. They give me a key and then I have to take that key into the post office and open up a box. And there was two packages waiting there for me. One of them I was expecting because we uh, were asked by Munch Pack to do a uh, to sample their product, and we're going to do that this weekend when Kate visits when she comes to town, and uh, maybe we'll share one with Amanda when she stops by here in the next few days. Anyway, man, these guys are just full of it this morning. I think they know that you guys love them. That's that's all there is to it. Anyway, thanks for watching Frosty Life. Thanks for all the encouragement. And 
Nothing like itching my face right in the middle of talking. Got cat hair on my face. Anyway, thank you guys. I'm I'm really humbled. I'm I'm uh, I'm the type of guy that gets nervous when I get gifts or when I get uh, words of encouragement. I'm amazed that a couple of people figured out how to send me tips uh, through my Scaleabout account. Which, yeah, they have that feature on there. I I've never asked for tips. And, and so that makes me appreciate it even more. And I'm, I'm, believe me, I'm not asking for tips from anyone else. I just want to express gratitude for those of you that find, for all of you actually, oh, my hair on my face. <laughs> Mason, I'm wearing your fur. <laughs> yeah. You're proud, aren't you? I actually get nervous when I get tips because, um, first of all, I... I'm not in it to make money. Um, I love to just share what we do and and tips that show that people have appreciation. And I think my dad had to explain it to me. And he said, you know, let people show expression of appreciation because that's what they want to do. They're doing that because they want to. And, and they're not doing it because you make them feel like they have to. And so... <laughs> After getting mail yesterday and now I get uh, a yet another tip on my Scalabout account, I'm just amazed, you guys. Thank you for the encouragement. I really mean that. Um, I would love to... Well, I wouldn't love to quit my job and do this full-time because then, it, then this is my job and I don't want this to be my job. This is my hobby. And besides, I couldn't leave flying. I fly for three different companies and I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, you don't see me video much when I'm flying because, uh, partly because as a professional pilot, my mind and my soul belong to the safety of that flight. And I just can't be filming things. Once in a while, when I get a chance and another crew member is flying, I might catch uh, a glimpse for you. Or if I get to, uh, I'm starting to like going to old airports and I'll put pictures of that up on my Instagram. And uh, it's kind of a, yeah, a new hobby of mine. I like to see vintage old airports. I get to see places of the world that, not of the world, but of the country anyway, of the U.S. And it's, it's a blessing job, and I'm rambling because my initial goal was to talk about um, the gratitude you guys are showing. And I, I really feel encouraged. Thank you, guys. Hi. Good morning. Is that your kiss?